Hi gymnasts, how are you? Um, I'm going to be taking your class today and we are going to be working on some of your level 7 skills for your British Gymnastics Proficiency Award, okay? So lots of things to practice and hopefully if you do lots of practice at home, when you get back you'll be so good at it that we'll just be able to tick you straight off and you'll be able to get your badge. So let's get started then. The first one is running around the room for 45 seconds. Now don't worry if you've not got that much space even if you just run on the spot while you're at home to practice will be really really good because running for 45 seconds can get quite tiring and you're not allowed to stop okay so we're going to give it a practice if you've got space run around it if not just run on the spot okay I'm going to be running around today okay have a listen out because I am going to set a timer and when the timer goes off we are gonna stop okay here we go off we go three two one start Take a couple of deep breaths, start the video again and give it another shot, okay? Do make sure you've got a drink, have a quick drink now, okay? It can be quite tiring. Here we go. Okay, so the next one we're going to work on is our bent leg dish, okay? So this one's quite tricky because you're, you end up balancing on your lower back, okay? So it's quite tricky to balance, alright? But I'm going to show you now, alright? Right, for our bent leg dish, we are going to put our arms up in front of us. We're going to lean right back to here. And then we're going to lift our legs off like this. One, two, three, four, five. How did you do? It hurts your tummy muscles, doesn't it? Have another try. Another way, if you're really struggling to get there, you can hold onto your knees like this, okay? And then lift them off. And then let go of them. One two, three, relax. Good, give that another shot. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, so that's our bent leg dish. So the next one we've got is a back support, raising one leg at a time. So if you're not sure what a back support is, this is the time for you to go back a video and watch our level eight one okay and have a join in with that one because you should know what a uh, back support is by now but if not really don't panic go and recap the level eight things it was in there okay so here we go let's have another try of a back support okay so we've got our legs out in front of us our hands behind us and we're gonna lift our bottom up off the floor, not just a little bit. Can you see how I've still got a big bend in my back, in my front here, yeah? What we want is for that to be a big straight line, okay? And when we get there, we're gonna lift one foot off at a time. Let's see if we can hold it for five. Now we're in level seven. One, two, three, four, five. Don't lift it too high. And the other foot. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. I was shaking then. That's really hard to hold. You guys give your arms a shake up and then give it one more go. Are you ready? Get into your back support and lift one leg. One, two, three, four, five. And then lift the other leg. One, two, three, four, well done guys, keep practicing that if you're struggling, it is quite a tricky one, but practice makes perfect, okay? 
So the next one we're going to do is we are going to jump with a safe landing. So this one's nice and easy, okay? We've been doing this one. If you joined us when you were younger, you, we've been doing this one for a long time now because we do this in our youngest preschool class as well, okay? So have a little think about what a safe landing is and have a go at it now. See if you get it right before I show you. Would you like me to show you to see if you've got it right? Okay, so we, we're going to do a straight jump today, okay? So I'm going to start back here. We start with our feet together, we bend our knees, we jump with our arms up like our ears, and we land with them in front of us with bent knees, okay? We never land with straight knees because that could hurt us, okay? So we always land with our knees bent, all right? And this is even more important when we're doing things on the vault and when we're coming down from the beam, okay? And the bar, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, go. And again, one, two, three, jump. Well done, have a go at that by yourselves. One, two, three, jump and land. Make sure you hold it, don't stumble out of it, okay? I don't want to see anybody wobbling out of it and then putting their feet back together. When you land, you should be stuck to the spot like a statue, okay? Okay, here we go. So the next one we've got is a balance on a beam, okay? Now, I'm sure most of you aren't gonna have a beam at home. If you do, fantastic, you can do this on the beam. But if not, don't panic we can balance on the floor for now as a practice, okay? So we are going to be on the beam, okay? So on the beam, you would have stepped forwards. You can't step like this, can you? Because the beam's only thin, okay? So we're gonna step forwards and we're gonna lift our foot up in front of us. One, two, three, and then we put it down in front of the other foot and we lift up that one. One, two, three, put it in front. Let's give that another try, are you ready? One, two, three, and step. One, two, three, and step. One, two, three, and step. Try not to wobble at all. One, two, three, and step. How did you do with that? Well done. Okay, so next we've got our rock backwards and forwards in pike and straddle. So this goes on from our level eight skill of rocking backwards and forwards in a tuck shape, okay? So let's just practice a couple of the tuck ones. So sit down, but make sure before you do, look behind you and make sure you've not got anything behind you that you could bump your head on, okay? That's really, really important. Look behind you now and choose a space where you've got lots of room behind you, okay? And preferably something soft, some soft floor, okay? Here we go. <coughs> so practice, here we go, we're holding our knees, we rock backwards and forwards, and we don't splat, we don't let go, okay? Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Good. Can you guess what we might do to do that in pipe? What is pike? Show me a pike shape now. Good, you should all be sat here right now. Your arms in front of you. And we rock backwards. And forwards. I think this one's easier than the top shape. What do you think? We rock backwards. And forwards. Good, okay, give that one another shot by yourself. One, two, three. Well done. And now, what might we do for straddle? Show me a straddle shape. Good. You should all be sat like this right now. Okay. You can't even get my legs in the video on this one. Here we go. One, two, three. Stay in. Straddle. And back up. That one's a little bit harder than pipe. Are you ready? Try one more time. One, two, three. Go. Back. And forward. Did you manage it? Try by yourself. One, two, three, go. 
well done, that was fantastic. Okay guys, so now it is from front support, jump in and up. So that's the start of a burpee, okay? Let's get yourselves into front support. We've just done back support, so you should all remember what front support is. Show me, show me your front support. Well done, you should all be right here with your body in a straight line, no bottoms up, no bottoms down, in a straight line, okay? From here, we are going to jump our feet in, to by our hands, and up to here, okay? And we're gonna do a safe landing. Here we go, front support. One, two, three, jump in, and up. How did you do? Try that one more time. One, two, three, go, jump in and up. Well done, okay? Now, what is next? Let me see. Oh, this one's a tricky one. I don't think any of you can do this one. See if you can prove me wrong, okay? Let's see, so this one is a bit like a press up. It's the first part of a press up, okay? So from front support, we have to lower all the way down to the floor, but we don't go plunk. I don't want to hear anybody have bumped their nose on the floor because they went plonk, okay? Yes, do it with control. All right, so we're in front support. We're gonna lower with control all the way down to the floor. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Did you manage it? Okay, well done. Have another tray of that by yourselves. Get into front support. And down we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Well done, guys. And for back support, this one's quite tricky as well. Okay, we're in our back support. We're going to bend, bend, bend. Okay, keep it a straight line. Bend until your bar submits the floor. There we go, try by yourselves, into back support, and one, two, three, four, five. Let me see those muscles now, surely you've got lots of muscles after that. Okay, well done, okay? Oh, so the next one is something that you could probably do in your garden, okay? Let me just see if I have a bouncy ball lying around somewhere in here. I do indeed. This one's a flashing one. Don't worry if yours doesn't flash or if you've got a bigger one than this, that's also fine. We're gonna bounce and catch a ball three times. One, two, three, okay? Try to catch it in both hands. Don't let it go all over the place, okay? One, two, three. If yours is super bouncy, you might not need to throw it down. You might just need to drop it. Mine's not very bouncy, so I need to drop it. One, two, three. Good. Well done. And the last one is walking along the beam and turning in the middle. But unfortunately, unless you've got a beam, we won't be able to do that one until we're back in class, okay? But it is essentially, we walk along the beam on our tiptoes, one foot in front of the other, we stop in the middle, we do a turn, and we keep walking along the beam. And we never put our heels down, do we, when we're on the beam? No, that's good to hear. Okay guys, thank you for listening, make sure you do lots of practicing, and I hope to see you very, very soon.